Oh, this is nice. Okay, this is nice. Hi, my name is AK. I'm a Eurovision fan from Germany. And this year I decided to film my first listening reaction to all the entries for the 2024 Eurovision Song Contest. I'm not a musician, not a singer. I'm just somebody who really likes the contest and likes to watch these little reaction videos in advance. So same as you. And this year I decided why not do it myself. Okay, so today is a special one because I will now find out who won yesterday's election for the German entry this year. <laughs> I didn't want to spoil myself this year, so this is why I didn't watch yesterday's election. <laughs> this is a hard one for Eurovision fans. Um, and I also tried to avoid as much Eurovision content this year on Instagram, because I wanted to be a surprise who, yeah, who will be the German entry. Okay, I only saw a few artist reveals of this year's election. Um, most of them I never heard of, so they're all newcomers and one or two familiar names. So, oh, oh my god, I'm shivering. Eurovision.de and and <laughs> and it is Ah, who's that? I don't know him. I don't know him. Isaac. Isaac. Isaac fährt für Deutschland nach Malmö. He looks like a nice guy, so I'm expecting... I don't know what I'm to expect. I don't know him. Oh, his song is Always on the Run. Okay, so I now went over to YouTube to see if his uh, performance, his final performance is online. And it is. It's Isaac, Isaac, and his song is Always on the Run. And I don't know what to expect. Okay. Isaac. Come on. Mach keinen Scheiß. God. Oh my god, why am I nervous? Why am I nervous? I mean, you know what it is about the German entries last year. Mm. So, it better be good. I really want to like this. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, let's go. Okay. This can be good. Okay, it's a radio song. It's a radio song. I want to like it, but I think I don't. Oh no. What is happening? Oh no. It's a good song. It's a good song, but it's not a Eurovision song. It, oh, am I so wrong right now? I want to like this. He's so nice. It's a good voice. Okay, it's a good melody. Okay, to be fair. Okay, to be fair. <laughs> They're clapping along, Germans! Oh my god! Why not? Okay. Oh, this is nice! Okay! This is nice! I want to see this earlier. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, 
look at him. He's a nice guy. Yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. Oh, this is not, it's a good song, but it's not the Eurovision song for me. Oh, I'm so sad. I don't know, I don't know how to feel. Am I wrong? Pfft. Am I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Seriously, I'm confused. This typical German, like, da, 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 da. Like, it's in the radio. I mean, nobody is listening to radio anymore. And, okay, I didn't vote yesterday. This is why I actually am not allowed to complain, because every vote counts. I try to be analytic right now. I don't know if this is the thing about the German entries. They're always average, you know? They're okay, like, nice song, sing along. <laughs> But they're not like, bam, 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 like, Italy, Spain this year, Slovenia, Ireland. It's like a typical, oh, you have 12 points to give and this is on place 13. Being average is not bad, but being average in Eurovision is zero points. Hi, editing AK right here. I'm just cutting the video and one final thought that went through my head. I think that the song which is chosen for this year's Eurovision Song Contest is not a song that is representative for the German public. It's representative of the audience that watches the NDR, uh, the broadcasting station th th which is responsible for the German election. And this audience is different from the international Eurovision Song Contest audience, which is way more diverse, way more used to different sounds, way more into controversial songs, way more into songs that, I want to say songs that hurts, but this is a song, it doesn't hurt. It's not that excellent, exquisite. It's a safe card to play. And when you play a safe card on the Eurovision Song Contest stage, it yeah, will not be as memorable as the songs that are different. Carrie, Cha Cha Cha, Zora, Lordi, or even Duncan Lawrence with Arcade. It was also kind of a safe card to play, but the sound was so different. It was something new. You can discover things in the in the song and it's not so predictable. Okay, so let's stop with the complaining about it and um, let's change something about it. I mean, I'm not in the music industry or anything like this, but if I would do something different about the election process of the German entry, I would change the broadcasting station and look for an audience that is more like the audience of the Eurovision Song Contest. So as I said, way more diverse. So a lot more younger maybe. Try to pick songs that are right up there in the international business. It doesn't have to be somebody who is famous already. Not at all. It's about the sounds, about the structure of a song, I think. So that's why I think it would be a good idea to do it again, as in 2010 when Lena was our contestant. It was a cooperation of the public uh, broadcasting station and the private broadcasting station. Why not do it again this time or <laughs> next time, 2025? And please stop with the radio thing. It's and I don't know, it's a German thing. The the reason it's always like, oh yeah, it's a good radio song. It, it needs to be a song that is good in the radio. Nobody is listening to the radio anymore. We're all on. <laughs> Spotify or whatever and I mean it's 2024 <laughs> come on okay some final editing thoughts right here okay points wise um I mean being neutral seeing other entries this year I would rank this six points maybe he's a very good voice very good stage present very nice guy let's have a coffee I mean but I think it's the wrong song oh I'm sorry it took me so light <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching the video and I will see you for the next reaction. Tschüss!